we've come to the wonderful Lawrence Engineering here in the northwest of Ireland to find out what it's like running a high precision mold and die shop. And how do you stay competitive? How do you stay ahead of the bunch? Investment, investment, constant investment in top of the range machine tools. James, it's a beautiful unit here in beautiful Northwest Ireland. But tell me about Lawrence Engineering. Uh, Lawrence Engineering, um, it's a family owned run business that was set up by my father in 1984. Um, we've been in this location here uh, since 1995, special, special built, uh, purpose built facility. Um, we specialize in injection mold tools, uh, extrusion tools, jigs and fixtures, special purpose equipment. And in a second site in Kaluni, we have uh, clean room manufacturing. Um, and medical component manufacturing. Wow, and these medical component manufacturing is really, it's a, I assume it's quite a tough sector to work in, is it? It's a tough sector, but it's very rewarding if you, if you can have the right customers and you have the right capabilities, it can be very rewarding, yes. And I guess those capabilities are very specialist and you've been building them up over a long period of time. What are those capabilities? What do your customers need from you day to day? If someone calls you up today and asks for something, something difficult to do, what, what are they asking for? They're asking for high quality tooling solutions in rapid, Timeline, so really quick, uh, really really quick turnaround times, repairs, repairs done fast, high quality, uh, skilled workmanship, all them type of things. Beautiful artisanally made mold and tools, but yeah. turn around in like a McDonald's, like fast food, rapid, right? Quick, rapid, quick. I love quick, it. Yeah. Okay, so and how do you get those turnaround times so quick? I mean, what do you do? Do you do most stuff in house? Do you subcontract stuff? How do you get those turnaround times with good engineering quality? Uh, we try and keep everything in-house as much as possible. We try to keep all the, um, the capabilities in-house. So when we're looking to invest, we're always looking at gaps. What are, we, what are we subcontracting out? How can we get that in? How can we get that in-house? How can we keep that control? How can we increase the quality? Um, yeah, just constant improvement. And to give the viewers a bit of an idea of what goes into a mold tool, if you've not quite made one yourself, what, how many different components are in a mold assembly and what kind of precision do those components need to be? It ranges. Obviously, the first thing is uh, you need to have the design capabilities to help the customer with the DFM of the part, then design the mold tool. Then you need vertical machines to be able to machine the bolsters, do the rough machining. Uh, you need grinding capabilities. You need EDM, hole drilling, sinking, wire, Swiss turn, conventional turning, high speed milling. Yeah, you name it, you need it all. Absolutely, I'm amazed by the size of this unit and then the number of different kinds of machinery you've packed in here. Let like you say, you have got every kind of machine I think we've, we've, we've looked at here on MTD. I think everything except a press brake, but you yeah. wouldn't need one of those, right? No, no, not at the moment anyways. No, exactly. Yeah. So all these different kinds of machines um, to do loads of different jobs. And do you find it's difficult to, to find people who can run all these different machines and have, have good skills in such a wide range of machinery and disciplines? I think we're lucky. We have a high retention of staff. So we have, uh, we have staff members that are with us 30 years, 25 years, 20 years, and we have a policy to train uh, to train people up. We'll get them in, get apprentices in, get them trained. And we're, again, we're lucky we can keep them. Um, we also have a, have a name for investing in the equipment and people want to come and work with us because they want to work on these high-end uh, high machines. They want to progress their career. They want to move on, you know? They want to really make the best of themselves and the best of their career. So Lawrence Engineering is the place to do it. Definitely the place to do it. And I guess they probably also want a beautiful commute looking at that wonderful yes, landscape yeah, as, they, yeah, as they drive yeah. in fresh here. Fresh air, fresh air. Fresh air, no yeah. traffic. What yeah. a wonderful place um, to, co to come and see. But is it a bit weird? Do you feel like you're at the middle of nowhere here in terms of mold and dye? It might look like that, but actually uh, the nearest town, Tubbacurry, is known as the home of tool making in Ireland. And uh, there's quite a number of local tool makers and machine shops. And the local college is also, the, um, it is the base for training the next generation of tool makers, engineers. So it, it is very, very strong um, in this part of Sligo. Okay, so with it being so strong, I guess you've got competitors who are actually almost on your doorstep right yeah, here. Yeah. And you're all will be competing for, for big work from big companies from America, from Costa Rica, US, Canada, yeah. loads of places that you export to just from this place in Lawrence Engineering. Um, and how do you stay competitive? How do you stay ahead of the bunch? Investment, investment, constant investment in top of the range machine tools, uh, Machine tools that can machine in the herd, uh, really accurate, high quality finishes, um, and again, the rapid turnaround times. Turn around these tooling in overnight in some cases, uh, high end tooling solutions in one to two weeks. Absolutely. Now, how have you seen those processes change so you can get those lead times down? What have you done differently recently? So, what we've done is we've invested in the, the capabilities to machine in the herd, um, cutting out that 
somewhat slow EDM spark process. So now we can machine, we can machine some of our high-end intricate tooling on our high-speed high machines um, and high-end machinery. Yeah, absolutely. So here we are right in the center of Toulamold in Ireland, in the northwest of Ireland. It's a beautiful landscape and there's some fantastic, beautiful engineering happening right here too.